M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So what am I doing today? Well, I've got this new Bofeng radio, which is the silver one on the right hand side. And I didn't pay much for it. And uh, hey, any excuse to get another radio? It's like buying a box of chocolates. So I want to transfer um, all the memory I've got on it from my other Bofeng, which is the army sort of style one here on the left into it so to me the quickest way to do that is just to um, go to chirp which there's a window here chirp at the moment so let's sort that out so in chirp we're going to select uh, download from radio with a bit of luck we're going to hope that it's on COM9. Let's click OK and see what happens. No, it's not. So, what COM is it? Let's go, you can't see this, but I'm going to go right click, Device Manager. And I'm going to look for my, the correct port. Looks like it is on COM9. So, what have I done wrong? I've plugged it in. Maybe I, ah, I think I selected the wrong radio. So that's fine. Radio, download from radio. And let's this time do UV5R. Click OK. OK. Cloning, right. So we're going to download the context of the green radio. I know it's very dark. You can't really see how green it is. I mean, I love, I really like the green army camouflage one. It's a really good radio. The, the uh, volume does make a, sc a scratchy noise when I turn it. So anyone knows the quickest and easiest way to, to um, stop that, let me know. Right, so I've got the context of that radio. Hopefully you can see it on screen. You can. So we'll just turn that off for now. Okay, and I'm going to take the lead out, and I'm, the radio it's going into is actually a UV9R triple band radio, so it might be a completely different code plug. So anyway, I've plugged it in, we'll see, we're going to learn, learn by doing. Right, it's turned on. Let's just see what you can see. You can see it's there. Now, before I um, try and transfer it to that radio, I'm, I'm going to... Um, let me think now. Before I do that, I'm just going to check I'm happy with what's in it. Um... Seems okay, all star, all star. So on 20 and 21, I've got my two nodes. Then I've got some repeaters. I've doubled up on quite a few of them. Yeah, I think I'm okay with what's in there. So let's let's try and send that to the radio. So upload to radio. We've just selected. We've got a window. It's not really letting me choose a different model so let's I'm just gonna click OK and hope now it's saying cloning the only reason I'm worried that it might not work is because the radio is a tri-band radio I think it's uh, 8 watts I mean, it's quite a nifty looking thing the torch on it is very good it's got a bigger than imagined big torch so Behind we've got G7RPG's node, so we're going to use that to test it. Right, yeah, it says error. I'm getting on the screen that there's an error that not everything could be transferred, but I think you, I've had this before, and I think you'll find that most stuff I need is transferred. So I'll just quickly show you the node again, uh, RPG's node. So you can see there, and it's just in sort of standby mode. It is connected to... And I've got see above the radios, I've got the control panel. Now I'll just quickly select Hubnet just to make sure that we are on that. And then I'll, I'll unplug the 
you have to unplug the programming cable. Now, programming cables, they're on eBay, just put in, and Amazon. I found that I could get one from Amazon delivered for about six pound. Um, you've got to look around because they're all on there for like eight, nine, ten, but they're, they're on there. Look, look a bit more if you're in the UK. So let's unplug the, the uh, programming cable. Done that. Okay. Now I can see on the screen straight away and I'll try and get the glare away that let's move the other one out of the way and just put this one here and I can see on the screen straight away. Remote already in this mode. Alright, that's just telling me I'm on. already in this mode. Okay. That's because I'm clicking Hubnet. I'm clicking Hubnet here. Okay. Now that's because um, I click too many times. So let's have a contact on Hubnet. H U B N E T connected to M seven S B G. Now you can see lots of people coming in. I might switch this to a live broadcast. So um, let's. Um, before I transmit, um, I might um, finish this video, and then what we'll do, now let's do a test now as we are, uh, and then I'll, I'll, t I'll change it to live, and then people can actually call in live. So here goes. So, let's, I'll get the, try and get the camera in shot. Not the camera, the radio. So we're in shot here. I'm going to call on Hubnet. Now I need to just go like this. Oh no, <laughs> don't push that button. I held down the top button, it was an accident. Right, it's this, the, the, this radio is actually taller than the when I'm used to, so I'm pushing the top button by accident. Right, here goes. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo, M Zero FXB, calling for a contact on Hubnet. No answer yet. I just before I forget, I'm just going to save the settings of Chirrup. Um, just make sure I've saved them. Save. Yeah, it has. I'll just save it to here. Save before I forget. Hello, Andrew. Good afternoon to you. I'm Joe. What do you want? M zero N E Y M zero F X B. Yeah, how you doing? Good to catch up. I'm actually programming a new toy. I got myself a UV nine R. Uh, it looks like a five R. It's a bit taller. It's got a different design on it, um, and it's tri band. So it has not that we're ever going to use it, but two hundred megahertz. And I'm just programming it on Chirp and giving it a test. How am I sounding? Back to you. Well, if it wasn't for the very high-pitched squeal that's continuous, uh, I think it might be okay. But unfortunately, you've got this really high-pitched squeal coming through continuously. So you've got an issue there, Andres. You need to look at that one, mate. M0, anyone? Oh, Roger. Well, that was worth the test then. Let me just move away from where I'm stood. Um, so I'm stood right now. I just walked away from where I was. You're sounding really clear, by the way. Um, so um, how am I sounding now? Now I'm away from all the uh, equipment. Whatever. 
work on the computer. Uh, the notes are at the computer as well. Right. We're in the video because that's probably causing the feedback. 7-3, all the best.